one morning? Or should we wait? I think we need to wait until the scissors end. So it's not us over here. Uh, I'm not online, so it's not me. I'm not online at all, it's not me. <laughs> got it, got it. Good, good. That could be me. It kind of sounds like a joke. I think that was me. I'm sorry. Okay, call to order this meeting of the San Lorenzo Valley Water District Board of Directors. Will the secretary please call the roll? President Hill. Here. Director Falls. Here. Director Mayhood. Here. Director Smalley. Here. And Vice President Ackman is um, not here this evening, but she said it was, was planned absence. Okay, so we need to have a quick vote to excuse Vice President Ackman. Can you call a uh, roll for that? Okay, President Hill? Yes. Director Falls? Yes. Director Mayhood? Yes. Director Smalley? Yes. Okay, the absence is excused. Okay. Um, are there any changes to the closed session agenda? Seeing none, hearing none. Moving on, any oral communications regarding items in the closed session agenda? Mr. Holloway. Hi, I'm Bruce Holloway from Boulder Creek. Um, so this is a second meeting in a row with uh, no financial information uh, on the agenda. And I guess what I said last time was, I don't think the general manager is meeting the job requirement if there's no financial information at all uh, on a board agenda. And I tried to describe um, how it used to be when there were two meetings a month. And on the second meeting of the month is when the liquid assets were presented because those statements come at the end of the month. So by the second meeting of a the month, they've all been received and they should be available. Um, some of the things that you would see if you saw the liquid assets would be, you know, the interest rate on the county investment pool. Uh, this was discussed in the finance committee last week, but it seems like people don't know how much the county investment pool is paying. Uh, in December, it was paying 3.86%. I don't know what it was paying in February, but that's one of the things that you would know if you had the monthly statement for the county investment pool. Also, LAIF is paying a little bit better, or in December, it was paying better than the county investment pool. I don't know what the rate is for February, but if, if there was a statement for February, you could see it. Um, you'd also know the day that the treasury bill is maturing in April. I think there's one. Uh, so there's useful information in uh, these monthly statements. And I feel that uh, for the board to be doing its proper oversight role, you need to be looking at these statements monthly. Um, so I have the records request. So hopefully I will learn what the February statements say. Uh, but there's really no reason why I should be able to know that and not the whole board. And I'm going to continue to make records requests on a monthly basis. And so everybody agrees that this is uh, what the board needs to be aware of. Uh, another thing about the monthly statements is I don't think this would involve any finance personnel. Uh, you wouldn't have to pay your contractor to do this because I think all the statements are being received by the district, either by US mail or by email. They're just simply statements that are being received. All you have to do is print them out and put them in a packet. It doesn't require anything of the finance department, but it seems to me that it's a responsibility of the general manager to report that to the board. So I'm disappointed at what I saw tonight, and I don't think it should continue. Uh, and I think you should make it clear to the general manager. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, seeing no other comments, we will adjourn to closed session. We'll
back in an hour, CTV. You can use Munis and okay, we're unmuted. Okay, it is 6 30. We'll call the meeting back to order. We have no actions from the closed session to report. So we will move on to any changes in the agenda. Item number seven, uh, general Mr. manager. Do we need to take roll call again? I don't know. Do we need to take roll call again? Yes, yes okay. Please. please take roll. Out. President Hill? Here. Director Falls? Here. <coughs> Director Mayhood? Here. Director Smalley? Here. And Director Ackman is absent and excused. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, yes, President, uh, I would like to pull item uh, is it 10C from tonight's agenda, the wholesale intertie rates, yes. and we'll bring it up in April 4th. Thank you. Okay. okay. Where are we here? Changes to the agenda. Oral communications, this portion of the agenda is reserved for oral communications by the public on any subject that lies within the jurisdiction of the district and is not on the agenda. Any person may address the board of directors at this time. Normally presentations must not exceed three minutes in length and individuals may speak only once. Please understand that the Brown Act limits what the board can do regarding issues not on the agenda. No action or discussion may occur on issues outside of those already listed on today's agenda. Any director may request that a matter raised during oral communications be placed on a future agenda. Mr. Holloway. I'm Bruce Holloway from Boulder Creek, and I don't see the district council on the screen. So I'm just curious, is there a district council in attendance at this meeting? She is in attendance. I don't see that she has been promoted because she is um, a public participant right now. CTV, can we please um, make part of, excuse me, Barbara Brenner, a uh, panelist? Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Barbara. Thank you. Okay, unfinished business. There is none. New business. The 2021 CIP pipeline replacement project. Thank you, President. So, Garrett, can I present that to you? Yes. So, we have a lot of change orders from the contractor, a total of 24 requests at this time. Um, we've reviewed um, all but 11. Um, we've rejected one of the change orders. So we're bringing to you tonight um, change orders 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 for approval to the construction contract with JMB Construction. The project um, has had some delays. The original um, award was in August of 2022. And we had a 284 um, day delay due to uh, materials and not being able to get the material. And then we had to add a mixer to the Blue Ridge tank. That was another delay. I'm happy to report that we've received the mixer. The mixer is installed and Blue Ridge tank is in service at this time. So we have consultants that are assisting the district with this project. Um, one of the consultants is 360 PSM. They're providing certified uh, payroll um, and labor compliance services for the district. And so we're looking for an amended and restated professional service agreement with 360 PSM to finish off the job. Um, we're looking for an amended and restated professional service agreement with the engineer of record, Sandus. So once we're done with all the construction work, 
Sandus will um, do a final site visit on all the sites and help us with the preparation of any punch list items that the contractor needs to fix prior to final payment. And they will issue a letter uh, indicating that the construction is in conformance with the design intent and the design documents. We also have a professional service agreement with MME and they're providing um, construction management services for the Blue Ridge tank site exclusively. After the passing of my predecessor, um, there was a scramble to get additional assistance on some of these construction projects that were already under contract. And so MME was brought in to assist with the Blue Ridge Tank project. Um, and with that, I'd like to take any questions that you have. So looking at this project and also the other one that you have up there, um, I noticed that a fair number of these changes were things like, um, we were going to put the pipe here, and when we actually dug it up, we found that the pipe was over there, or there wasn't a pipe, or there was a hole in the ground or something. Um, how are we validating where these uh, the existing infrastructure is on the plans before we get into the position where the contractor is digging a hole in the ground and finds that there's either no pipe or the pipe is 40 feet down the road or something like that? What are we using to validate where this infrastructure is? So typically we will hire a consultant, a design engineer to prepare the plans. And they would ask for records from the district mm -hmm. that we have. And so we would supply them with any information we have on our existing pipelines. Okay. Are they also going to the county and for things? I mean, some of this was not necessarily our pipeline. It was some other thing. So I assume they, they must be going to the county for those? Um, I'm not aware that they go to the county mm -hmm. for information. Um, a lot of times the surveyor will call a utility locator mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll mark all the underground utilities mm -hmm. and then that'll be included in the survey. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bob, do you have any questions on this one? You know, I have a few, and I appreciate you going through some of the background. Some of that, you know, um, I, I would encourage you to go ahead and put in the in the narrative. Um, I'm assuming this is the Altavia project, then. Uh, we're talking about the 2021 CIP project, so that includes the Blue Ridge oh, Tank say, and Altavia. It includes Orman Road. Uh -huh. It includes Zion Drive. It includes Hermosa Avenue, and it includes Winnie Woods. Winnie Woods, okay. Yeah. The Altavia. Um, you said there were 24 change order requests. Part of what I'm trying to do here is get a sense of what the total amount of money that's involved in those 24 requests, because we don't have all of them in front of us here. And I'm trying to relate that to the, I believe it was a 10% contingency we had in this. And that 10% was for the entire project, including all the consultants, or just for the um, uh, construction? So the 10% contingency was included in the construction bids. Okay. So basically um, up to almost $500,000. Correct. The, okay. the bid I think was four and a half million. So it would be no, it's, 450. I mean, I'm not sure where we are here, but it says right here 4.964 million. So you know, not to exceed contract. So, so that included the contingency. So on August 18th, 2022, the board awarded the contract in the bid amount of $5,023,380, which included a 10% contingency. So without the contingency, it was four and a half million. So I might be getting lost here in terms of the history, but I'm sure. looking here at the change orders would increase the not to exceed contract from 4.9 million to 5.1 million. Correct. So the contractor is not authorized to spend the 10% contingency until we have a signed agreement that he can spend portions of that 10% contingency. So there's actually bid line items. And if you add up all the line items for the hydrant, for the pipe, for the connections, for all the 
items contained in the bid, that was only four and a half million. So what's the port 4.964 million relative to the numbers you talked about earlier? So we've already approved change orders for the mixer. That was about $40,000 um, and other change orders uh, up to change order six. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, change order eight, my bad. Okay. So, um, so we've already basically incurred $500,000 more or less of change orders. More or less correct. on this project, correct. And now we have another set of change orders that we're going to do, which will go over that ten percent contingency that we're talking about. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, are the consulting uh, agreement extensions due to the delay in the start of the project? And the fact that we're now going longer, and wouldn't the consultants start when the project actually starts? So, um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how that lines up. Um, you're correct. The consultants start when the construction starts. Mm -hmm. We are anticipating that construction would be completed in November of 2023. Mm -hmm. um, however, we had delays. For instance, the mixer we didn't receive until March of 2024. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, weekly meetings with the contractor and with the consultant. We still get monthly progress payments from the contractor and all those are subject to review by the consultants mm -hmm. and comment. If we have any submittals or RFIs, that would go to the construction manager and then to the engineer of record. For the progress payments, they have to have a uh, certified payroll mm -hmm. to show that they're meeting the requirements for that before we can issue the progress payment. So of the so what is the total number out of the change orders one to 24? What's that total? The total request from the contractor is over eight hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, a couple more. It, it seems to me that most of this is work that wasn't anticipated or work that we thought it was going to yeah, be here. I, I, I have I have a couple yeah. more questions. Sorry, yeah, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> um, the storm drain um, that would be a county storm drain, or is that a private road storm drain that we? Oh, the drainage manifold. Is that what you're talking the about? Blue Ridge tank storm drain change order. Oh, okay. So that one is um, so there's an existing there was an existing is that, is that a county storm drain or a private storm drain? Um, there was no storm drain. There was no. <laughs> so is, is it in a county road or a private road? I believe it is a private road. Okay. All right, and the Blue Ridge retaining wall was that just a design issue that was missed? That's a pretty substantial number. Correct. So the neighbor, the neighbor's fence and propane tank um, are necessitating the. Oh, I, I, I get, I get why, but okay. that was not caught during the design phase. It's correct. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I. Uh, Brian, you and Mark probably have more expertise in this. What would be sort of a normal? range of change order percent is 10 percent 20 percent i'm just you know what, what would we expect to look at on a complex type project uh, um especially in our area especially in our area with with the general lack of hard inventory information narrow roadways you know all the other things that go along um i don't think i don't think 15 percent is unusual. Okay. So, so 750 on the contract. I don't think that less. that's unusual given okay. as much as we have here. Yeah. And so yeah. we're about in that mm -hmm. range. So far, assuming we don't have any more change orders, are they yeah. looking at more change orders? We are very close to finishing with the construction. <laughs> okay. Um, it is my goal to deny change orders whenever possible. Okay. Well, I'm I mean, if it's for some of these things, we can't because fair is fair. I mean, if you know, yeah, oh, okay, I, I appreciate that background because sure. that's and and Brian, you would agree with that that 15% is probably I've, I've seen them go much higher. It really depends on the project, you yeah. know, a big yeah. project that's kind of getting 
you know, it depends. But yeah, I mean, they it varies. And, you know, remember there's been changeover. Yeah, no, I get that. I, I kind of view this as there's a lot of house cleaning and they just point out some things that are put right is we had expired contracts that we're still paying off of, hence they're called amended and restated, mm -hmm. which is why Barbara can chime in here, but that's why I guided Garrett to do them that way, because then you pick up and you say that it's deemed to have commenced at the beginning of the contract and you don't lose your continuity. Mm -hmm. So we had to do that in two places. And in one place, he never had really a contract. There wasn't an agreement. It was just sign the consultant's agreement, which is... I've learned that's always a no-no. We have a Barbara's created templates for us that had been reviewed. That's what we follow. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> so, yes. in other words, yes. this is this is so we're cleaning seventy-eight thousand uh, dollars plus worth of housekeeping. Okay. Um, on a very large project. Okay. Great. I, I really appreciate the template, the focus on cleaning things up, putting in processes and standard that all that stuff. Music to my ears. So thank you, Brian, for that. Thanks. Um, I, I've got, I think, just a couple of questions. Um, the retaining wall. Um, the uh, the propane tank and the fence were there before we came there. So shouldn't our engineer uh, design firm have picked those up? Or did something change in the field? <laughs> They're shown on the survey. Yeah. And they are not accounted for in the design. Okay. Did um, Sandus come back with a change order to make those changes then? Hmm. At no cost. Well, uh, <laughs> that's where I'm going. <laughs> they missed it. Were they trying to? Uh, and it wasn't clear to me in their change order whether they were. Oh, and here's additional money for the design of that, the design changes. They are seeking additional compensation for design of the retaining wall. Okay. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that part of this package? It is. That you put in front of us. Okay. It wasn't clear to me that that was no. part of that package. No. Um, to that. Well, I mean, have let's. Okay. How much? How much is that? The redesign. Let's see. Because it's eighty-one thousand. It's eighty-two thousand in the in the retaining wall. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not concerned about the contractor's cost. Yeah, for no, it. I know because they're not because they're not the ones. That, but the design firm, I feel, is. Well, they could be at fault for the eighty-two thousand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, because I've never been. Bad. I've never been able to get that out of a design firm. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, for their errors and omissions, but for that, I don't. I don't know if I need to know the answer to that right now. But, but I guess Bob asked that so, question. Anyway, uh, perhaps we could finish up with questions. Yes. Yes. Um, the uh, the memo was a is a good memo. He had, I think sufficient descriptions and details in this. I like the way that, that you put all of that together. I appreciate the fact that you mentioned that you were rejecting uh, one of their change orders for 22,000. Um, you didn't have to tell us that, but that to me is showing, okay, yes, I am doing what I can to, uh, to uh, refute any of those. Okay. Um, it was that retaining wall that, and, and Sandus's performance or lack thereof in that. Okay. That's the questions I have. Okay. No, I have nothing to add. So if I, I will respond to the question, I would, there's a couple of different ways to frame this is, yeah, consultants make mistakes and it's quite common that you end up, they missed it, but you're in a, paying for their time to fix it because they are working, they are basically burning by the hour, mm -hmm. you know, you're paying them by the hour. All right. That's the consultant's point of view. The other thing is, remember a lot of this stuff happened. Can't really say, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to defer blame, but it's like we were trying to, this is a cleanup effort. Mm -hmm. And if we go picking at small amounts of money, 
we've got a lot of fish to fry, a lot of big projects. We've got millions of dollars we need to spend on capital improvement. And yeah, it's unfortunate. I wince. I do encourage Garrett. I he can attest it a lot of times. He doesn't want to fly a contractor on changer. I said, oh no, you have grounds, you fly them. Mm -hmm. And that's that's where you can fight. You right. know, we fight where we can and we're and here's the other fight. The bigger fight is, do you hire that consultant the next time around? Well, Sandus has done work for us. We're going to hire Sandus again, I fully expect. Yeah. Um, maybe yeah. not. Maybe not. <laughs> they won't keep wanting to have lunch with me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um. it's not, in other words, what I'm saying is, is that doesn't go unnoticed. They've done other good work for the district. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of their engineering. Yeah. Um, including but, during the fire. Yeah. Yes. Uh, including that. Uh, so I respect most of what they do, but okay. I understand what you're saying, Brian. I'm just zooming out a little bit and yes. saying, yes, it doesn't go unnoticed. And, and my philosophy is, I said it today in a meeting, it's mistakes happen. And then I say, okay, how do we get better and not make the mistake? I don't, I'm not into right. blaming. I'm not into pointing, belaboring a mistake. It's just like, okay, what do we do to so right. that when we go forward, we step better? So that's my, and yeah, this is messy. It happens a lot in public contracts. Um, do I like it? No. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes it is the way it is because. That is a game that contractors play too. It's like they did what's on the plans and they know it's like they forgot that, they forgot that, and they know there's their profit. They've already, Agreed. trust me, they, they're doing it by sticks and stones and adding them up and they know. Yes. It, it's not the contractor in this case that I was questioning. Well, the contractor. Yeah, I argued this one too for a number of reasons because um, you know, the propane tank's actually encroaching on our property. And I was like, well, then move the propane tank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my first response. And yep. Apparently that wasn't, you know, it didn't work out. And, you know, if I send James and Garrett up there to fix it, and it's like they still come back with the same answer, then I'm not going right. to argue with them. It's just, okay, let's move on. You know, we tried to fix it. We tried to lower the price because I just looking at it from the, like, again, zooming out saying, yeah, 80 grand will, and we even tried to get the price down on that. We tried to use a different style of construction. And it's like all said and done, it wasn't going to save any money. And we couldn't get the we couldn't get the vehicle up there to do it a different way. It wouldn't have would have been too hard to get the rig up there to do it like with drill piles. So right. Uh, I'm not questioning the, the means and methods yeah. of how you did it. Simply Sandus's. Yeah, right. They dropped the ball. Yes. I've seen it plenty of times yes. before. And it's like if you go back to a consultant and say, yeah, don't. I, sometimes on a big thing, it's like if it's obvious and I was there and I was intimately involved with mm -hmm. it, I certainly could call them on it. Right. I don't think I'm in that position because I don't know who said to who, when, and, and yeah. how it got missed. Um, but like I said, I mean, I'm just giving you the overview that like we did consider other methods. I mean, it's not that it, it doesn't need to be part of this discussion, but I'm always looking at, okay, 80,000, how can it be 40,000 or not at all? It's like, okay, I can't erase it, so I'll just live with it. But, but that would be a hell of a propane tank for $80,000. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wow. I mean, right. It's like, really? I'd move, I'd move my tank for that. <laughs> sure. For that. Yeah, well, okay. Okay, so quick question here. Do we want to vote on each one on these separately or do no, we no, we'll just go through no, the, thank you. the whole thing so let's move on to lion big steel then oh, uh, we, 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 no, no, sorry no. we have to no, move we have, on we have to vote on this agenda and, and we have oh. to go after the public yes and, but, but we don't want to vote on each change order individually i thought that's what i thought that, that was no. your question also jeff no yeah okay so, um so let me make a motion then uh yes before we go up uh the board directs the general manager to execute uh, um, change orders for JMB construction, um, 360 PSM, uh, Sandus Engineers, MME, um, as stated 
in uh, the meeting minutes for uh, March uh, 21st, 2024 um, on pages uh, five and six of the memo. A second. Okay, comments from the public. I see no hands up online. We have no comments in the room. Okay. President Hill? Yes. Director Falls? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Yes. Um, Director Mayhood? Yes. Director Smalley? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, moving on, item 10B, Lion Big Steel Project, change orders. Okay, sorry, it's uh, Garrett's, I'm yeah. just gonna let him. So we are proceeding with the Lion and Big Steel Project. We are filling the lines right now, pressure testing uh, and disinfecting, getting ready to put the new lines in service. The contractor has submitted change orders for consideration. District staff has reviewed the change orders and recommends payment to MPE as stated. Uh, I'll take any questions that you have. Does this wrap up this project change orders? It does or not. What's the total amount they're requesting? There are two additional change orders that we're in negotiation on, and the contractor is revising the pricing per district comments. So we're awaiting those documents. What, what was their original request? Total. It's a ballpark number. Yeah, ball, ballpark. Yeah, yeah. doesn't have to be exact. Um, the total amount. Ballpark. Around a hundred thousand dollars total. Okay, great. Thank you. I do have a couple other questions. Um, Bob, are you still? Oh, are you still? Yeah. Um, I, I, I would comment that uh, if you're negotiating with them and they came in at this and you're now down at this, just tell us that in the memo. Mm -hmm. The next one that comes through on this? Sure. Okay. That's it. Bob, do you have questions? Yeah. Um, it, it seems like we might have a, a similar situation here with a couple of these change orders um, that were missed in the design. Is that a fair? I mean, a thirty-four thousand dollars one-inch service line is that's a boy. That's a I want that service line in my place. Boy. Yeah, that was unfortunate. So that was missed in the plans. There's a ranch, um, the Yondi Ranch, very close to our tank site, and we have run a cross-country pipeline after the fire through their orchard. And they're connected through their backyard, essentially, off that above ground emergency pipeline. And so part of this project with the new pipeline, we're installing a meter on the highway on uh, Big Basin. And then it's 460 feet up their driveway to where the connection is to be made to the existing uh, plumbing. Do, do they have a long line agreement with us? Well, the meter is actually going to be on in the right way. Mm -hmm. So it's all on the customer side where we're doing this 460 feet of trenching. We're using the bid item price that's provided by the contractor, you know, the low bid mm -hmm. um, line item. So I guess I'm not I'm not sure I understand this. So we we provided the connection from the meter to their house. Correct. And that was because, I mean, what what did they have prior to the fire? Um, I I'm not sure what they had prior to the fire. 
And, and Scott, interesting. Uh, Scott, do you know? Their line, their service line came from like the um, line plant directly across the creek. Oh. And, uh, and then down the hill. Oh, okay. Well, that would be a historical yes. uh, legacy item. Yes. I get, I get yeah. that. Okay. Okay. That right. line melted during the fire. So yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. We ran another one temporary for them. Well. Okay. Okay. So basically what we're doing there is we're making this a real connection to a real meter in a real right of way. And because of that, we had to eat the cost of their connection to the house. Correct. Okay. That sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, I, I understand. And then the other one was a lateral under a resonance. That's very special. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's also legacy, I'm sure, historical and all the rest of it. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, some questions? Um, I, I do want to comment that the good description, detail, backup materials uh, on, on all of that. Um, and the fact that we uh, require the contractor to provide uh, bid per foot items that you're able to then reference then for we need 460 feet of line. It's this much. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good way to get that pricing up and up ahead of time. So Thank you. continue that format. I have to say, though, a one-inch line for 500 feet, that's a lot of friction and pressure <laughs> reduction. Okay. Uh, they must be in a great pressure zone because in my place, even 100 feet, I had no pressure. So anyway, yeah. Good for them. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion that the board directs the interim general manager to execute contract change orders one, two, four, and five for payment to Monterey Peninsula Engineering for the Lion and Big Steel Zone Pipeline projects to the sum of $70,334, increasing the not to exceed contract from uh, 6233100 to 6303434 I'll second that. From the participants. Uh, I don't see anyone online. Mr. Holloway, do you have a comment? I noticed that almost all the questions came from the two members of the finance committee. I mean, the uh, engineering committee. No, I'm not on the engineering no. committee. I'm now on the engineering committee. Oh, okay. I missed the meeting yesterday, okay. so I didn't see that. Um, so both of the last two items, it said no committee action. And I guess I continue not to understand what the committees are for. Thank you. Okay. So, President Hill? Yes. Director Falls? Yes. Director Mayhood? Yes. Director Smalley? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, the next item has been withdrawn. So we are now to the consent agenda. I don't see anyone requesting that we pull anything from the consent agenda. We, do we have district reports? No, it says not here. You want to vote on the, oh, need a motion and a we second. A motion we'll on the consent on agenda. And okay. also you have to ask the public if they want to comment on that consent okay. agenda. Okay, so on the consent agenda. I move the consent agenda. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Any comments from the public? Seeing no comments, can we have a vote? President Hill? Yes. Director Falls? Yes. Director Mayhe? Yes. Director Smalley? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Okay. I see we have no di district reports, no written communications. There's information material. The 
SMIGWA 2023 Independent Auditors Report. Does anyone have a comment on that? Then I think we can adjourn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, CTV. 705 adjournment. Thank you. Thank you.